everyone and welcome to Stamp with Angela. It's wonderful to see you here again, whether you're joining me on the live or whether you're watching the recording later. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch today and I hope you enjoy the card that I've got to share with you and you learn some crafting and stamping tips along the way. So if you've got any questions, feel free to comment and ask and things. Um, I'll keep an eye out while I'm doing the live and I'll also check back later. Um, so if you're watching the recording or I miss your comment, I will comment afterwards. So thank you for joining us today. The card I'm going to share with you features the die set from Celebration. So Celebration has been here for July and August and it is coming to an end. So we're now final week. Next Wednesday, Wednesday the 31st of August is the final day of Celebration. So if you've been... Um, holding out, we haven't got anything yet and you want to order this week before Wednesday or on and before Wednesday is a good time because you can get some free celebration products and um, or if you have ordered but you're wanting something else then um, this month then is a good time to order. So as well as the celebration brochure over the last few weeks uh, Stamping Up added a few extra items that are available through celebration and if you go onto the website you can check out what they are. And they're actually current catalog products, not just exclusive celebration products. Some embossing folders, some foil paper and other things. So check those out. All right, so appreciate those that have joined me now. The um, card that we're going to make today. Um, and I've got two samples of it. Just a slight variation when I had a go at making it just to kind of see how I like it and things. So what are we using today? We are using the trees for sale stamp set and if you were here last week I used that as well just the stamp set so if you're looking for that that's on page 39 of the mini catalog which looks like this one so there's quite a lot you can do just for stamping with it which is very exciting and we're also using the dies so this is the die set here although some of them are missing because I've pulled them off ready to use and that is from Celebration. So like I said at the beginning, Celebration is only until the 31st of August, so next week. And this is the die set that you can earn for free if you spend $220. And you could always get the stamp set and this and other things, and there's lots of wonderful ideas and inspiration there. But whether you've got this particular set or not, there might be some other ideas and things that you can learn from these cards today. So please... Um, stay and watch and I hope you will enjoy today's card. All right so I'll put those kind of up there and we will get started. So the ink colors that I'm using today not too many colors but we've got some balmy blue I don't know if you can see where that is on the card but I've blended in the sky there. We've got some for my trees I've used pear pizzazz and evening evergreen. If you're wondering why that ink pad looks a little bit different it's because it's the old style I haven't quite updated all my ink pads yet. Um, other things that we're using, I don't know if you can tell, but this here has been die cut with the rectangle dies. You can see the stitching around it. So I have used my rectangle stitched front dies, which like this. So this is, I believe, the second largest one. Obviously, I've used the dies for cutting out the trees in the caravan. I've also used, if you can see, I don't know how well you can see, there's a bit of embossing around there. One of my favourite embossing folders is the fern one. Great for um, New Zealand and things. So just to give it a bit of interest and texture. And I've gone for evening evergreen because it's sort of, you know, a Christmassy colour. And after doing that, I thought, oh, maybe I'll add a bit of red in. And then maybe that's kind of tying in slightly more Christmassy colours. And I wasn't sure about the yellow, so I decided to, to go for white. All right, so let's um, we'll put our card base together. And then we can do our stamping and things. So I've just got a regular card. So it's half of an A4, 21 by 14.85 scored at 10 and a half. And this piece here is just a fraction or a little bit smaller. So 10 centimeters by 14.3. And I have embossed it with this embossing folder. And then I'm going to adhere it to my card front with my glue which is put something on top of it okay and then that's our card base so we want glue on that side 
and I've just adhered it flat onto the card. Right, well then we'll put that aside for the moment and we will get all our stamping and other bits and pieces done. Okay. Alright, so let us get our piece that is pre-cut with the rectangle die. And because we're going to do a little bit of blending, I'm going to just put a grid sheet behind. So let's start with the sky. So using balmy blue and my blending brush. So I'm just going to start off the page so I don't get a nice big blob. Just blend. And you can make it as dark or light as you want. At the moment we can hardly see it. So let's go a little bit. There we go. Now we're starting to see it. So this is just to create a bit of sky behind. Go down as far as you kind of like. There we go. And then I'm going to add some green at the bottom for my grass and stuff. So I'm going to go with the lighter colour I'm using, which is the Pear Pizzazz. So just kind of doing that on the bottom half. All right. There we go. Okay. So while I I'll leave that open, got this here. You've I've done a Christmas greeting up there. So tying in the evening evergreen with the card base, and the sentiment is also from this particular set. The trick is getting it nice and straight. So I've just done it on the top corner on the card. Or on the piece I'm stamping on. Let's hope that's straight. Oh, pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay. So I'll keep my, I've got my piercing mat here. Um, I'll keep that here because I'm going to be using photopolymer stamps. And they're not so spongy. So it makes it a little bit spongier when I'm stamping and things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, you can't see the card, sorry is I'm going to stamp some trees in the background. Now, I don't know if you can spot the difference. Obviously, the caravan colours are a little bit different. Um, there's a little tree there and a bigger one there. So I actually meant to put the small one behind another big one there. So we'll just have to kind of remember that. But basically, I've stamped three at the back. So if you have a look at the stamp set, there are three different sizes, large, medium, and small. The small one's a little bit kind of fatter. Um, so I just want to show you before I stamp on my card what I find about the easiest way of doing it. And usually that's, um, so let me get my two ink colours. So I've got my Pear, Piz uh, yeah, Pear Pizzazz and my um, Evening Evergreen. If you did the background first, like that one, and then you ink this up, it's got quite a lot of, dark on it and it's actually hard to see what is happening behind I don't know if you can kind of see that it's very hard to sort of line up so my suggestion is actually to stamp this first and then because this is not so detailed you can see right the way through it and it's easy to line up okay so that's my tip so whenever you this is called uh, what is it two-step stamping so whenever you're doing two-step stamping you might need to kind of have a play and think which one um, is best to stamp first with my card last week, because I was gold embossing, I kind of had to do this one second. So, yeah, um, for this particular card, do the patterned one first. So let's do that now that we've learned that little trick. So I've got one big tree on the left. So here. And then I've got two medium ones, kind of in the middle and on the right. So sort of we'll go a little bit further down. And just slightly lower there. Okay, now we'll go over the top of those with our pear pizzazz. So now I can see through it. I can line it up really nicely. And so she says. Okay, so that's my one big one. And then two medium. Sorry, doing a bit of concentrating there. But it's much easier to see through like that. Okay, so that's kind of our background. Then we need to stamp some trees to um, cut out with the dies. So we'll move that up here. Same thing. I'm going to do the more detailed one first. So I'm going to do two medium size and one small. Sounds like a McDonald's order. And except, you know what? 
that is actually the large. So that's fine, we turn over, take two. We will do the medium one, like I said. Two medium and one small. Right, there we go. Then we come in with our pear pizzazz over the top. So that's a large, we don't need that one, we want a medium. So this is our medium, line it up. Nice. And you can play around with what sort of green combinations you like. There's all sorts of possibilities. We've got lots of greens. We've got garden green. Oops, that's the wrong size. Garden green and olive, old olive and these colours and that. So you can play around with what colours you think work. There we go. So we've got our three ones to die cut. So in the set, we've got a medium one and a small one. And obviously there is a big one as well if we wanted to cut it out, but we don't. So we take that to our stamping cut and die machine and then we come back with this already done what i prepared earlier two three okay actually that tree looks a little bit better cut okay so then we've got our three trees so i'm going to try and do it the right way this time we're going to put our smaller one there because a lot of it is um, covered up and then we're going to kind of have one there and one there now they're put on with dimensionals to give a bit of layering and then after that we'll do our caravan which is all very exciting so let me just get what I need here right so probably for these I find the mini ones quite good so I've finished with my stamping so let's move that out of the way and we'll bring our card back in so you can see it. So I always like cards, Christmas cards with tr Christmas trees on it because, yeah, that's very Christmassy to me. And if you want to, you can make them, you know, snow-like. But obviously we don't have snow here in New Zealand for Christmas, but some countries do. Or maybe you're sending overseas, so you might want snow-looking trees. And I'll show you at the end how to use them with the die cuts and no stamping as well so kind of like that all right very good so that kind of creates our background you don't have to put a caravan on it you can do something else or you could just have trees and a sentiment down the bottom or there's all sorts of possibilities okay so now let's have a look at our um, caravan and things so we're going to use these two dies here for our caravan and then there's also this little one here which is our little curtain um, and then the wheel we're going to use this one again too so what I've done is I've cut one out in I think it was smoky slate and then I've cut another one out in white when you cut it out it also cuts out the windows and the holes and things right and they're, they're there for that one too but we don't actually need the white caravan because we're just going to use those bits in there so we can save that for another time um, and then this die here looks kind of weird. You think, what is this? But when you cut it out, it actually cuts two separate pieces. Okay, so he does it at once. And then these are the bits that are going to go on the bottom and the top of our caravan. And then you kind of want a black wheel. So all I've done is I've just put a little bit of black in that corner. Um, like, you know, and cut it out. And then I've got to get my wheel. So let's put our caravan together. So admittedly, before I started, I thought, oh, this caravan's going to be all fiddly and all that kind of thing. Um, do I want to bother? But it's actually quite fun to make. And you can come up with all sorts of different color coordinations with your caravan. So I'm just going to put this down in case I get a bit gluey and try not to lose any bits. So let's, so you just want to go ever so lightly with your glue. So we're going to put a bit of glue on our wheel and along here and here and up the top and let's put our wheel on it's going to make sure it's up the right way so that just covers there and then it's a black tire then we're going to put this one here which is goes along the bottom panel and around our door so just kind of line it up and it's it, there's sort of an indent showing you where it should go and then we're going to put this little roof on as well so it just makes it two-toned and kind of quite interesting and then uh, later on we're going to put those in okay when it's kind of on our cart excellent so hopefully that will kind of dry um so again I quite like the little ones 
I don't want to lose that. So I need a little thin bit here. So I'm just going to cut off the edge here of my mini dimensionals. And hopefully this will work. So just take off one layer. And hopefully it's not too long or too wide. And just put it on so we can't see it too much. There we go. Now because I've got tre trees, that's already going to lift it up there and possibly that corner. So I kind of only want to put maybe dimensionals there, 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 but not up here or not there. So can we remember that? Let's see if I can get it right. So we wanted one on the wheel. Up the front, we wanted a couple. Uh, up here, so about there above the window, maybe, and a couple down the bottom because we need a bit more support there. Is that going to work? Let's just see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so then we're going to take the black layer off. Obviously, if you haven't got trees around, you can just, you know, put it on and it's fine. So what do you think of the caravan? Do you like that? I can think of um, holidaying with my family when I was a child and staying in a caravan, which is lots of fun. So I think it does kind of bring back memories of New Zealand holidays. Anybody else? Okay, so now what we need to do is fill in these bits here. So there's nothing really just to support it on. So I'm going to put in the gap a couple of mini dimensionals. Whoops, and I've pulled one out with me when I took the top layer off. Um, so I've obviously made it a little bit harder because I'm dimensionalizing it, but you could put it flat on the card too. And then let's just kind of put it in the center there we go so this was cut out from my and maybe I'll just put a little bit of glue on my trees so it just sticks at the edge but I really only want a little bit so it doesn't squirt out so the dimensionals are lifted up the glue will just kind of hold it in place there we go cool and I've got a tree directly behind that one so I just need a dob of glue now that's quite hard to sort of pick up so I'm going to use the putty end of my take your pick and pick it up and just put it in could use tweezers or something but I find this quite good for picking up little things there you go how's that so we've just got to put our little curtain on hopefully we haven't lost it there we go so again just a thin layer of glue and let's use this again turn it over so it's the right way and put it that whoops it's gonna move there we go adjust it so sticking to my fingers give that a moment to dry just gonna move it over a fraction hopefully that will sit nice there we go our little caravan isn't that cute okay we've nearly finished our card and then I'll show you again another way of using the tie-dye so what do you think of that is that nice okay so again I'm going to use dimensionals so I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to lift it up so remember when you're making cards, using blending brushes and ink is a great way to add a bit of colour to your background. So that's a cool technique we've done today that you can learn. Um, using your take your pick tool to pick up small things is very useful. Um, what else have we learned? Oh yeah, the two-step stamping, oops, the right way would be a good idea. The two-step stamping um, technique with the two stamps figuring out which one is best to do first obviously it might depend on your stamp set but in this case do the detailed pattern and then the more solid one over the top all right there we go so i think that's that's the card finished okay um so like i said with the dies there's all sorts of other dies in here that you can use there's a dog and there's um, a wreath and bows and things and a little you can have a little banner thing going over your caravan all sorts of exciting things um, but there's also these dies here so they are kind of the details so again we've got large medium and small so the question I had was which should I do dark on light or light on dark so you use those and then the same die that we use to cut our stamped image you cut the shape out as well so I've just done these in um, medium and small so this one here I've done pear pizzazz as my solid piece and then 
evening evergreen as my detailed piece and it looks like this for this one I've done the reverse I've done the evening evergreen with my solid one and this in the background so what do you prefer that is the question initially I kind of thought this one but now I'm I don't know so you could you know include them on a card with your stamped image and that's what I'm going to tuck down but you know you get the idea you could have a combination of stamped and um stamped and die cut now because of the way I've stamped it that probably looks best because this is kind of the reverse which might look a bit funny with that card but you could equally use that so um yeah a very versatile set and yes thanks Rebecca yeah I think it's a cute card too and yeah ideal for um New Zealand and our Christmas looks a bit more summery and that kind of thing so I hope you've learned some new things today and if you are interested in this set remember that the stamp set is in the mini July to December mini catalog and can be purchased the dies are only around for a week or less than a week so if you would like those then if you put an order in and earn celebration points with an order of 220 or more then you can get those for free so just to finish off as well celebration so lots of um, great stamp sets, dies, papers that you can um, get through Celebration. And if you've ever wondered about becoming a demonstrator and joining up, whether you want to just do it for yourself kind of as a hobby and, um, you know, get your products and things discounted, or maybe you want to do it for yourself, maybe stamp with some friends and get the odd order and things, or you can do it like me, do classes and, and uh, do a lot more. You can make it suit your needs, which is great. If you join during celebration, which is until Wednesday next week, you can get this amazing little plans, making plans collection, which is like a, um, a folder and ring binder with all your planning and things and stickers and notebooks and a stamp set. And you can get really nice and organized, which is um, yeah, quite cool. So if you'd like to know any more about that, please get in touch with me. And I've got team members all over New Zealand. So you don't have to be in Auckland, close to me. I do things online um, with my team and communicate through email and Facebook and all different things. So, um, and phone, obviously. So I can help and support you. So thank you for today. Thank you for joining me. Here's the cards again. So I hope you like those. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, please feel free to contact me. And I look forward to seeing you again. So each Thursday, 1.30 is my Facebook Live. Or if you're watching this as a YouTube video later on, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or maybe you'd like to check it out and see what other videos I've got there too. All right, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy your afternoon. Bye.